Amazon's investors are speaking out against Amazon. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Amazon's investors are telling them, stop interfering with the U.S. union effort in Alabama. And when we say interfering, we're talking about terrorizing their workers into not voting to be to to join a union, form a union in Alabama. Mail in balloting has begun this week as workers come under pressure to reject unionization. Amazon should stop interfering with efforts by its workers to unionize ahead of a pivotal vote in Alabama, said a group of more than 70 of its investors. Mail in balloting began this week among more than 5,800 employees in Bessemer, a suburb of Birmingham, marking the first attempt by U.S.-based Amazon workers to vote for union representation. But an anti-union campaign has been waged through posters, flurries of text messages, and compulsory meetings during working hours. A website has been set up to advise workers that unionization would mean, quote, it won't be easy uh, to be as helpful and social with each other. The Amazon investors, led by the Swedish groups Folksum and Omen Fonder, collectively control more than $20 billion in shares and also include the comptrollers for both New York State and New York City, Legal and General Investment Management, BMO Global Asset Management, and the Church of England Pensions Board. In a letter, they called upon Amazon to end its union busting and remain, quote, neutral. They added that Amazon appears to be going against the tenor of its own global human rights principles. <laughs> Amazon Human Rights Principles published on the company's website, which states it respected, quote, employees' right to join, form, or not to join a labor union or other lawful organizations of their own selection without fear of reprisal, intimidation, or harassment. Scott Stringer, New York City comptroller, said, as these workers seek to organize with the union for health, safety, and protection, Amazon's investors are watching. We want workers we have to know we have their backs. There is power in their unity and power in labor. And they have my full support as they fight for a safe, fair workplace. A successful vote would see workers at the facility join the retail, wholesale, and department store union, which is pledged to focus on grievances that include packing quotas, workplace safety, and time allowed for bathroom breaks. In Europe, Amazon facilities with union-backed workforces were able to stand down with full pay during the early stages of the COVID-19 crisis. So Alabama is not the first place that has tried to unionize uh, among Amazon workers. And Amazon has pulled every dirty trick in the book to stop it. Let me be clear. Amazon has done more than put up poster boards in their Alabama uh, warehouses that, oh, this will break... You know, this will break our good vibe. She won't be able to talk to workers as easily about issues because of the union. I, I know for a fact that they have tried to intimidate workers that, you know, if if you guys vote to unionize, we might have to cut jobs because, you know, we'll be making less less profit means less ability to keep uh, keep everybody. So threatening your jobs, surveilling workers surveilling meetings or conversations workers have been having. They, they, I mean, it's already clear that they've been doing this. There's been reports a few months ago that Amazon was doing this uh, in the UK, and I have been told that they're doing that here in Alabama. I spoke with John, our cameraman. We're looking into, is there anything going on down there that we should go and actually cover in Alabama? Uh, we don't want to send somebody if there's nothing physically happening in terms of you know, rallies, protests, whatever. Um, it's a pandemic, so right now it seems like the main campaign to unionize is virtual, which we understand. But we're kind of monitoring it because I think it's a big story that we might want to go cover uh, if there's anything happening to physically cover. But I think this is super important because, to be clear, Amazon will do everything humanly possible to stop that first unionization success because if there's one if there's one that successfully conf gets confirmed and gets unionized it could be a domino effect from there and if Am if multiple if one and then multiple 
Amazon warehouses are able to unionize, then a- Amazon's economic hunger games starts, starts to end. And they do not want that. This is why take Amazon and make it bigger. This is why the oligarchs, the plutocrats, the, the people that run the United Corporations of America, they don't want to give an inch. They don't want to give an inch to workers. Because if, if you give an inch to workers, there is a huge risk to them taking the whole field. So very important that we don't just do hashtags, but we focus on this unionization and effort in Alabama because it could be a domino effect from there, not just for other Amazon warehouses, but other workers in Walmart, in other companies that have been union busted for decades. So I'm going to try and schedule some interviews with people trying to get this Amazon warehouse unionized. Uh, We are going to expose the dirty tricks that Amazon is doing to stop this from happening. And right now, the mail-in balloting has started. They're voting virtually. They have two months to send in their ballots, so we're not going to know for a little while. So there's time right now to get this in the main uh, spotlight. Promise you, CNN's going to not cover it. MSNBC, they don't want to touch it. New York Times, I think the Washington Post, owned by Jeff Bezos, is going to cover this much? (laughs) Not happening. But it is very, very important that this is a fair process. Because I think if it were a fair process and there were actual, actually regulators monitoring to make sure Amazon is not intimidating their workers, I can promise you people would vote to form a union in Alabama and elsewhere. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statusquo.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.